Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us. Haley has the night off. Our top story tonight, powerful Hurricane Irma, Category 5 buzzsaw, leaving devastation behind as it pulls away from the northern Leeward Islands tonight. And this weekend, Florida may feel its impact as well. Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan has the latest track on the storm just released by the National Hurricane Center. Bob? Scott, we have some new news, a, a little bit of a shift to the right, not noticeable though, a little bit more shift to the right at this point. We'll show you that in just a minute, but this storm is incredible. It's been at 185 miles an hour for the past 24 hours and beyond now. So we're talking about uh, 32 hours. It's had winds at 185, making it the strongest hurricane or typhoon or cyclone for that matter in the world. And uh, you can still see a very well-defined eye. It's a little bit asymmetrical now. It's not nearly as symmetrical as it once was just 24 hours ago as it was moving toward the northern Leeward Islands, but uh, it's just north of Puerto Rico. It continues to move off to the west-northwest around the periphery of a large area of high pressure, which has been driving the storm over the past several days now. But that high pressure system ends right about here, and that's where Irma is going to find a weakness and make a break toward the north. Will it be before Florida? Will it be right at the east coast or possibly even to the west coast? That remains to be seen, so we have to be very vi vigilant and continue to watch this system. Even though that center line has shifted just a little bit to the east, we are still in that cone of uncertainty, but it is slowly inching further off to the east. But there's still a chance it could. Uh, just a 50-mile jog to the west and a, a, a delayed turn here would put us uh, very close to that center core of those strong winds. And at this point, 155-mile-hour winds at Saturday, 8 o'clock, just to the southeast of Florida now, parallel with our coast at this point on Sunday at 8 o'clock. And as I've said, over the past couple of days, the tough weather for us will be Sunday night and Monday, and that still holds true. And what is the tough weather? That remains to be seen. But right now, if it were to follow this path, we would be dealing with tropical storm force winds more than likely, anywhere from 50, 60. I don't think we'll see 70 here at Sarasota Manatee County, but in the Highlands, Hardy, and DeSoto County, certainly that is a possibility. Even hurricane force winds, if this were to jog just a little bit off, toward the left here or toward the west. So keep that in mind. We still have to keep our guard up as far as that goes. It's not over yet. Even though it's shifting a little bit to the east, we are still not out of the woods with this one. And we can't just focus on the center because the effects and impacts of this storm are going to be vast. This is going to be a big storm with uh, lots going on as it makes its way across the state or near the state. There are hurricane warnings in effect for the southeast Bahamas as well as the Turks and Caicos all the way up into the central Bahamas. Now, no watches or warnings at present for uh, Florida at this point. That'll change tomorrow, though, as the storm gets closer. More than likely, a hurricane watch will be issued for South Florida as early as tomorrow afternoon. Well, here are the uh, different model runs, and it's still showing the majority of them east of our area, with uh, most of them right along the east coast of Florida at this point, and uh, just uh, one or two still to the west. That air, again, is still very large at this point. That's why I want people to know that it could be anywhere within inside this cone, but it's not as large as it once was. It was at 500 miles yesterday down here, and now, since we're going to be at day four, that air has shrunk down to uh, just over 350 miles. So once again, it bears watching. It's too early to tell exactly what we're going to get here. We are going to get feeder bands without uh, a question there, and that means the possibility of some heavy rain. We'll run through this model real quick. This is the most reliable model. It will be updated around 3 a.m. now, and that continues to show a direct hit toward Miami, but that may be changing a little bit. Uh, we'll talk more about that and the impacts that it could have here on the west coast of Florida a little bit later. Scott? All right, Bob, thank you so much. Now to the impact already here at home. It will be a short week for students across the Sun Coast. School districts are taking precautions because of the storm. Schools will be closed in Manatee and Sarasota counties on Friday. Manatee County will be using 24 of those closed schools as potential shelters. Charlotte County also closing its schools, but one day earlier on Thursday. And for college students, Ringling College of Art and Design classes are canceled until further notice. New College of Florida also canceling all classes on Thursday, Friday, and Monday. University of South Florida campuses, including Sarasota Manatee, will close Thursday through Sunday. And State College of Florida campuses also closing tomorrow through Monday. It's unclear when classes will resume for local schools and colleges, but we'll keep you up to date on our newscasts and on our website and social media uh, throughout the week.
Those planning on leaving the state to get out of Irma's way won't have to worry about paying any tolls. Governor Scott has suspended tolls across the entire state of Florida. He hopes this will help people better prepare for the storm, get hurricane supplies, and then quickly evacuate when necessary. The Fort Hamer Bridge in Manatee County will open temporarily this Friday to help with traffic related to the hurricane. The span gives drivers another way to cross the Manatee River in the fast-growing areas east of the interstate. The bridge is not scheduled to officially open to traffic until later this month. Mandatory evacuations began today in the Florida Keys and in parts of Miami-Dade County. Many people hitting the roads trying to avoid Hurricane Irma. Northbound traffic on I-75 was very slow for most of today. ABC 7's Rick Adams joins us live from the interstate near Fruitville Road in Sarasota with more on the story tonight. Rick? Yes, Scott, traffic has improved out here, as you can kind of see, but earlier today it was bumper to bumper. I-75 heading north was jam-packed with a lot of traffic on Wednesday and a lot of folks who are evacuating ahead of Hurricane Irma. For Benita Springs resident Tara Callis, she's heading to Alabama because she wants to make sure she and her family remain safe through all this, but she still has some concerns about evacuating. It's scary because you don't know what you're going to come back to if you come back to anything. This hurricane is especially nerve-wracking for Jennifer Linder and her family. She just moved to Naples from New York back in July. They're heading north to the Atlanta area to stay clear of Irma. I would rather watch what happens on TV than be stuck in the middle of the hurricane. Some Sun Coast residents decided the traffic was too much and opted to stay off of I-75 northbound altogether. I almost got on it and then I last minute avoided it because it was stop and go. I could see from about a half mile away how crowded and slow it was. Another problem evacuees are encountering is not having any gas to pump. This is an issue up and down a lot of the I-75 corridor. A lot of folks who are evacuating or who live here were forced to just sit in their cars for hours waiting for another shipment of gas to arrive. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I didn't expect that gas stations would run out of gas and I just pulled into here earlier today expecting there to be gas and all the stations were just, you know, all the pumps were closed, which was really surprising. Tory evacuations have And mandatory evacuations have yet to be ordered for the area, but that could happen within the next day or so. Reporting live from Sarasota County this evening, I'm Rick Adams. Scott, back to you. All right, Rick, thanks so much. As people prepare for Hurricane Irma, many are out shopping for crucial supplies, but many are finding local stores are out of things they need. Local Home Depots have had a hard time keeping plywood in stock because so many people are trying to board up their homes. We met a woman who had been waiting at the Northport Home Depot since 4 a.m. to buy a generator. She said she wouldn't leave until she got one. The items that they're looking for currently are generators, the plywood, tap cons. Those are the items and water that you know, folks are coming in for the most looking for that we're trying to get to our customers. Home Depot says they're working to refresh their supplies. However, just as quickly as they get more, they are out again. And it was a similar issue in Sarasota County today. For those trying to get sandbags, this morning a dump truck lifted its bed into power lines, breaking a power pole in Englewood. That sandbag location, location was shut down until the pole could be fixed. Now, elsewhere around the county, people were finding a shortage of bags, but not the sand to fill them. In Venice, people were limited to 210 sandbags per person. I normally don't prepare, but this one's a little scarier for me, so I decided to get sandbags and protect my front door. For the most part, the large crowds were calm and working together, helping each other put sand in their bags and then get them to their cars. DeSoto, DeSoto National Memorial is closed right now. The closure will allow staff time to prepare the West Bradenton Park for the storm. The park's Facebook page says they'll keep posting updates about the status of the park as well as on their website. Now, while preparing you and your families for Hurricane Irma's arrival, make sure you're keeping your pets safe as well. The American Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals has great tips on keeping pets safe during a disaster. You know, if you evacuate, take your pets with you, of course. Never leave your pets behind or tie them to trees or poles. That prevents them from escaping high water or getting to safe areas. Make sure all pets are wearing ID tags with up-to-date contact information. Create a portable pet emergency kit with items including their medical records, water, water bowls, 
pet food and your pet's medications. And choose a designated caregiver if you can, such as a friend or relative who can take care of your pet in the event you are not able to. The ASPCA mobile app allows pet owners to store crucial pet records needed for boarding pets at evacuation shelters. It also includes a disaster preparedness checklist for your pets. Manatee County Commissioners declaring a local state of emergency this morning before any potential impacts of Irma arrive. Manatee County offices will close at noon tomorrow, remain closed through the weekend. Those government employees will be transitioning to their emergency response duties in advance of the storm. No evacuations have been ordered yet, but some people living in low-lying areas could be asked to evacuate as soon as tomorrow. More than 100 Florida Forest Service personnel are pre uh, preparing to respond to the hurricane. The Florida Commissioner of Agriculture says aircraft, off-road vehicles, and mobile command posts are also being prepared. And during an emergency, the Florida Department of, of Ag Agriculture helps provide necessary food and water to affected areas and then helps protect animals and pets as well. The department's Florida Forest Service helps emergency responders in clearing debris and then distributing needed supplies. Well, straight ahead, we'll get back to Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. We'll have more on the forecast of Irma and its potential effects here in the first alert forecast. Plus, tourists in St. Martin tell us what they experienced during this powerful storm. People all over the state of Florida are preparing for Irma, what Fort Myers residents are doing to stay safe. I am a veteran. My victory was finding the strength to be a champion. My victory is having a job I can be proud of. At DAV, we help veterans get the benefits they've earned. My victory was finishing my education. My victory was getting help to put our lives back together. DAV provides veterans with a lifetime of support. My victory is being there for my family. Help us support more victories for veterans. Go to DAV.org. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Attention Sarasota and surrounding cities. After 25 years in Sarasota, Bacon's Furniture and Design will be moving to create Southwest Florida's largest and most dynamic furniture store. We must liquidate everything in the store at huge savings as fast as possible. Do not miss this opportunity to purchase quality sofas, bedrooms, dining rooms, patio furniture, mattresses, and more, all at the absolute lowest prices possible. The Bacon's Furniture and Design relocation sell-off. Nobody beats Bacon's. I'm calling in regards about my mother, and I'm here, and I just want to thank you because it saved my mother's life yesterday. Um, and I'd like to know the names of the people that came in and saved her so I could call and thank them, and she's doing fine. It's a wonderful thing. Thank you. When you fall and cannot get up, an accident can turn into a tragedy. But with Life Alert, one touch of a button can get you help fast. Life Alert saves a person from a catastrophe every 10 minutes. Life Alert is a lifesaver. If it weren't for Life Alert, I wouldn't be sitting here today. For a free Life Alert brochure, call 1-800-652-3012. That's 1-800-652-3012. Call now, 1-800-652-3012. For a free brochure, call 1-800-652-3012. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I am creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah. When severe weather strikes, trust ABC7 First Alert Weather. We're here for you. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. All right, Bob is back. I know a lot of people, Bob, are encouraged to see the track kind of shifting to the right, you know, often. Right. Oh, yeah. uh, but this is such a big, powerful storm right. that uh, we can't let our guard down. No. Regardless I mean, of where it goes. Right. And, and you know, we, we, we look for hope. 
Obviously, yeah. everyone does. And, and I know when I post that, you know, the, the GFS shifting east a little bit, a lot of people say that's great news. I, I think keep your fingers crossed that it stays yeah. there. But and more and more, the models are coming into alignment. And every time you see a little shift, even a little one, that means the Hurricane Center is thinking, yeah, okay, well, we, we, we better start thinking that way. Right. And there's less activity in the Gulf of Mexico. You know, we had a few models out there just yesterday that were indicating that it may go there. There's a, still a chance, don't get me wrong, that it could go there. But mm -hmm. the chance of that happening is lessening as we yeah. move through time. Uh, the bad news is, is that Florida is going to get hit by this storm in one way or another. Maybe not a direct hit, yeah. and we're hoping for that. But in Miami, West Palm Beach, Boca, all those places there, they are just beside themselves because they're looking at this monster hurricane with 185 mile hour winds, which is expected to move over water temperatures of 90 degrees before it makes that turn to the north. Weather headlines for us read like this. Again, we are continuing to stay in that cone of uncertainty and even though if the if the cone of uncertainty moves away it doesn't mean we're out of the woods uh, it just means that's where the center of the storm could be uh, from the point of where it is now the current path is again late sunday and monday the two biggest uh, days and times for us and i'm getting concerned about this uh, last thing uh, the potential for flooding now our ground is extremely saturated right now especially in north sarasota and south manatee county and any kind of rainfall, uh, excessive rain and torrential rain that you get with tropical systems comes down at the rate of two to three inches an hour and, cause, and can cause significant flooding in just a short period of time. So that's going to be an issue. Uh, even if we don't see the hurricane force winds here, flooding, I think, is going to be a big issue for us. And we're not going to get the 30 to 40 inches of rainfall. No, none, none of that. Uh, but the roadways obviously will be covered like we saw with that big uh, event we saw just a couple of weeks ago. Well, the latest again, 185. That hasn't changed, which is incredible. It makes it the strongest storm ever recorded on Earth in terms of a tropical cyclone. So again, that's just an amazing fact. It's moving to the west-northwest at 16. It's already broken all sorts of records, uh, by the way, the strongest storm ever recorded in the Atlantic and now in the Pacific or the Indian Ocean or anywhere you want to talk about in the uh, tropics. There's the forecast cone. You can see it's starting to narrow a little bit over Florida. It's starting to shift just a little bit to the right at this point. There's still a chance it could go even further here. A uh, smaller chance going here, obviously. It could go right along the spine of the state. It doesn't take much for it to jog one way or the other. Uh, and it's all dependent upon a pressure pattern. I'll show you here in a little bit. There are the water temperature I mentioned, mentioned in the upper 80s all throughout that region where it's expected to travel. If it does interact with Cuba, it will certainly knock it down a couple of categories, possibly, if it stays over for a long period of time. We mentioned those forecast uh, models. The spaghetti models are all kind of shifting to the right. And that's the reasoning by the National Hurricane Center to inch it ever so closely uh, a little bit further off to the right uh, in the 11 o'clock advisory. A well-defined system, obviously. The size of the storm and the size of the winds, the winds extending out. In this direction, the tropical storm force winds extend some 100 miles out to the southwest. Uh, to the north and to the right of the center, it's about 180 miles out. So this is a big storm, tropical storm force winds. The hurricane force winds extend about 45 miles out from the center uh, on most quadrants at this point. So that's about a, a 45 mile out. Now the diameter of the eye at this point is at 20 miles wide diameter. Uh, there is the cone. Uh, this is actually the radius of the strong winds of the red deep red being the stronger ones, and this is the forecast. I want to show you this graphic to show you when the uh, tropical storm force winds will enter into South Florida if it follows that path just uh, after around 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and then you can just kind of project that up the coast, and you'll see that we are going to definitely, I, I, I think, get into a tropical storm watch or a hurricane watch as early as uh, late Thursday or into early Friday. While this trough of low pressure continues to dive down, now this is going to exit stage right, but it's going to leave behind a little bit of a low pressure system in the upper level of the atmosphere right there. And depending upon how big that is, it will direct this storm either uh, off to the north or possibly then off to the northwest right into the Carolina coast. So uh, that's a factor at this point. Real quickly, uh, we'll talk about Jose if we can. It's out there. It's not going to be a factor for us, but it still can go over where Irma went through recently. And this is... Uh, Katia, which is a Category 1 hurricane and expected to move as a Category 2 into the coast of Mexico. So pretty amazing out there. We have three hurricanes. That hasn't happened since 2010. But real quickly, tomorrow looks good. Time to get out and get your supplies if you haven't done them already. If they're available, uh, Thursday, 30% chance of rain. Friday, 60% chance for showers and storms. Some of these storms could be heavy, too, uh, before the storm arrives, late Sunday and Sunday night into Monday that rain chance staying high, that will more than likely bump up to 
as the storm gets closer. Scott? Okay, Bob, thank you. After Irma blasted through the Caribbean islands, reports of fatalities and damage are starting to emerge. Irma destroyed government buildings, tore roofs from houses, left northern Caribbean islands without power or communications. We had the chance to talk to two women who are currently in St. Martin. They say they were told not to leave their hotel, to stay in their room and not open any doors. When the storm hit, they say it was extremely loud and pitch black from the power outage. They were told to lock all the doors and hide in their bathroom. Although they did not experience much damage, other parts of the island are devastated. We swept all the water out the door. We had a couple of inches, but if you go outside of our hotel, the buildings across the street are missing windows and doors. The roofs have come off. Um, there's cars that are turned upside down. They say they haven't seen or heard of anyone injured in their hotel, but they think they are on one of the safest places on the island. Other parts, parts of St. Martin were not so lucky. The island of Barbuda is reportedly barely habitable after taking a direct hit from Irma. The entire state of Florida is getting ready for whatever Irma brings our way. South of the Sun Coast in Fort Myers, homeowners there, some of them are putting up shutters to cover their windows. People are planning ahead in Broward County as well. One Costco location had long lines of people waiting to get inside. The Broward County Sheriff is glad everyone is thinking ahead of this storm. Broward County, today is a day where we pray for the best, but we prepare for the worst. Just a resident of Miami-Dade County. Miami-Dade County resident Senator Marco Rubio is also encouraging all Floridians to prepare for the worst case scenario. Stay with us. Sports is next. But first, here's Jimmy Kimmel. Enjoy this sample of tonight's show. It's gluten-free. There are actually three hurricanes uh, out in the ocean right now. Irma, Katia, and Jose. And you know Jose is heading right for a Trump hotel. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was and some additional cancers that were not found during the biopsy. I would recommend the Detoli Cancer Center. As a group of human beings, they are unbelievably great. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. 
put more space in your place at the More Space Place. Watch your Suncoast News at 6 on your streaming device for a chance to win a $50 visa. It's easy. Just watch weekdays at 6 for the word of the week. Then enter the word at mysuncoast.com for your shot at a $50 visa. We'll pick the winner each week. Good luck. Now, sports. Buccaneers and the Dolphins will have to wait a week to begin their NFL seasons. Their game set for this Sunday in Miami, obviously postponed because of the threat from Hurricane Irma. The two teams will now play each other during week 11, which was supposed to be a bye week for both teams in November. The Bucs will open the season at home on September 17th now against the Chicago Bears. Today, head coach Dirk Cutter said he, you just have to keep things in perspective. While it is kind of a setback for the team not to play this week, they are putting it all in perspective because this hurricane is obviously a life-threatening situation and football is just a game. Well, high school football moves up a night. It's football Friday night, Thursday edition tomorrow night. Most games will be played, although some were postponed or canceled. It has been a challenging year so far for area teams with the weather being their toughest opponent. You can see a special edition of football Friday night right here on ABC 7 tomorrow night at 11:15. The Tampa Bay Rays finishing up a three-game series against the Twins this afternoon. First inning, first batter. Brian Dozier goes deep and gone, and just like that, his 29th homer of the season, it is 1-0 Twins. Bottom of the first now, the Rays will answer. That's Evan Longoria. He's going deep to left center field. That's a solo home run, and we're tied at one all. This game went back and forth with the Twins. Uh, Ed Rianza hits one deep to left. That's a three-run homer. The Twins are up four to one and they ended up winning today 10 to six but the Rays do win the series two games to one. That's a look at sports. We'll have tonight's winning lotto numbers and more right after this. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at CaliforniaClosets.com. Being the caregiver for someone you love is truly a blessing, but sometimes you can lose a part of yourself. To be your best, for them and for you, it's important to have time to be able to recharge your batteries. When you call Tidewell Hospice, they can give you a chance to do just that, and with the peace of mind of knowing your loved one is in the very best hands. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. It's Lincoln Summer Sales Event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sport Utility for $269 per month or a 2017 MKZ for $299 per month. We have a great selection of certified pre-owned Lincolns. These vehicles have warranties up to 100,000 miles and come with complimentary roadside assistance. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury. Winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award. Serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We are located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. If you're thinking about replacing your windows, what matters most to you? We found what matters is high performance. Our customers want energy efficient windows built for Florida weather. Windows that can stand everything from scorching sun to hurricanes. Our customers want windows that reflect their life, their lifestyle. Windows that will last a lifetime. We listen to our customers and as a result, we're growing. So if you're looking to replace your windows, stop here at New South Window. Buy more, save more. Volume discounts on four or more windows. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-685-6422, 800-685-6422. Start your day with a new Good Morning Suncoast team. Weekday starting at 5 a.m. 
There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our autumn upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. The Florida Lottery winning numbers are sponsored by Frontier Fios. Well, Bob is. Uh as things stand now, what can we expect from Irma, do you think, here? Well, right now, a storm surge, we had a lot of questions about that. What this, yeah. The storm surge isn't going to be a big factor here for us. We're going to have offshore flow for the first part of the storm as the winds will be out of the east-northeast blowing offshore. Once the storm gets north of our latitude, we'll start to see it switch to the west and southwest. So no real threat of any kind of significant storm surge. That's good to hear. Thanks for joining us. Our next news at 5 a.m. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. This is an important medical announcement. Xeralto and Pradoxa have been linked to uncontrollable bleeding and even death. If you've been prescribed one of these drugs and have experienced these dangerous side effects, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that Pradoxa can cause more heart attacks than warfarin, and other countries have already issued safety warnings against this drug. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. The call is confidential. There's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to Pradoxa victims, and thousands of Xarelto victims are filing their legal cases. Call the Drug Watch Hotline. If you or a loved one used Xeralto or Pradoxa and experienced uncontrollable bleeding, brain hemorrhage, or even death, you must call now. Call 800-793-6055. 800-793-6055. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Watch your Suncoast News at 6 on your streaming device for a chance to win a $50 visa. It's easy. Just watch weekdays at 6 for the word of the week. Then enter the word at mysuncoast.com for your shot at a $50 visa. We'll pick the winner each week. Good luck. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. 
put more space in your place at the More Space Place. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air.